fin de semana yo quería salir a bailar. Ah, hablé con ella y le dije, me quiero ir a bailar. Le dijo, a Nancy, me la cuidas. Claro que sí, no hay problema, yo aquí voy a estar. Sí. Y yo me fui al baile. Y andaba yo en el nightclub bailando. Cuando la vi, que ahí estaba ella también. <risa> ¿Qué haces aquí? Se supone que estás cuidando a Nancy. Y me dice, ah, oh, no te preocupes, ahí está mi hijo. Su hijo tendría como 10 años. Y ya después se me salió otro baile. We had one nanny who she would say, I'm going to give my input, like, you know, and like, you can take or leave whatever I say. I may or may not actually employ that tactic. Feeling comfortable in that way, just having those conversations. And this is something that I've kind of struggled with, is that I never want to overstep, that I guess I don't, I don't know too well too often what the line is between, oh, this is a perfectly warranted thing to say because it's a good observation, and the line of, don't say that. <laughs> this is this person's child. This is how they want to run their house. This is their parenting style, so maybe don't say that. I do think as far as who sets the tone, I think it ends up being the parent because they're more like the boss, it, you know, um, in this situation what's acceptable or what's, you know, what, what boundaries are set in place or what have you. Me pasaba el número de teléfono y así hacía las llamadas. Yo les preguntaba, ok, ¿cuántos años tienes cuidando a, a niños? ¿Tienes niños? ¿De qué edades tienes? También eso me ayudaba a escucharlas, si me daban confianza, también cómo se expresaban de los demás niños. She has a camera, or she did have a camera in her living room to monitor the kids or to monitor me. She's, she's like not trying to be super chummy. Like she is trying to ask you, how's school? How are you? That's good. But as far as like, what's your mom like? That's not the, where we are. I think that she thinks I'm smart and capable enough to take care of her children. I do definitely think that she thinks I'm good with the kids, but I think that she thinks I'm weird. <laughs> One word that's coming to mind immediately is compassionate. Somebody who's going to feel comfortable challenging your child uh, and, and feel comfortable like navigating. You want to talk more specific psychology, like different parenting style, more of an authoritative versus an authoritarian. It just made me want to give them a different sort of experience of what people could be because the people that they were often surrounded by in terms of their family are more sort of very nonsensical, no tolerance for any shenanigans or any backtalk, anything like that, very, very strict, sort of rigid. I just wanted to be opposite force that, but it's still me, but that just lets them know you can be, you can be kind, like you can be these things and it's easy and it's fun and you can eat your vegetables and it's cool, like, I don't know, it's fine. You kind of question, is it kind of a, like a narcissistic sort of thing? Like, these people are expressions of myself, right? These people that, we, that me and my husband have created and continue to create every day, they're expressions of who we are. If there is some negativity about them, particularly at, an, at a young age, it comes back to us. I think that's a component where it is kind of a narcissistic thing like yes there is a component of it like well it's you know it is more about them like we want them to be good people and go out in the world and have good experiences but a component of it i do think comes back to their expressions of us and if they're messing up we're messing up pero con mari de colombia o sea ella tenía un niño que mordía y creo que se mordió los cuidaba mucho, los estaba checando todo el tiempo. Si ella veía que el niño estaba haciendo algo, corría y lo detenía y todo, y lo regañaba y consolaba al bebecito que había mordido o al, al niño que había mordido o algo así. Pero siempre sí decía, eh, pasó esto, hice esto, le dio un dulce, se calmó y, y ya. I definitely think that it takes a certain level of perceptiveness. I think especially just with the, with the woman that I work for, I don't think that everybody could do that job. I really don't. I don't want to rag on her in any sense, but um, whenever you get like a parent like that, I guess, who's not too cooperative in terms of communication, in terms of expectations, or uh, if they're disappointed with something, if it's not if it's not efficiently communicated, just like learn and <laughs> adapt type of thing. 
See, I think a nanny caretaking experience can definitely be more enriching if that person has a better rapport with the with the parent.